Hello, good morning everybody, or good afternoon if it's afternoon. Today we are going to speak about conjunctions. Generally, we are going to remember what we studied before, but today we are going to focus on but, and so, and because. Next, okay, what are conjunctions? Conjunctions are joining words. We use them to join words or sentences, okay? Before in the previous term, we have studied and, but, or. When do we use and? We use and to add information. I went to school and met my friends, as you can all see. Then, but. When do we use but? We use but to show a different or opposite idea. Like this cute skeleton. It is scary but still cute. Now or. It is really confusing. It was confusing for you. When do we use or? We use or to show a choice between two or more options. Shall I wear my red blouse or my orange one tonight? Okay, so I'm choosing between two blouses or I'm choosing between two options. Shall you go to the uh, movies tonight or you'll stay home? Okay, so we have two options going to the movies or staying home so we use or and now we're going to start with our uh, what you call it important conjunction to get we have two to study today two new ones to study today the first one is so what is so so we use it to show the result of an action. What does it mean, the result of an action, Miss Nahla? When we look at this example, and I have to study all weekend, okay? And what is the result would be? What the result would be? So I can pass my exam. Okay, so. I need to study hard this weekend so I can pass my exam. So whenever I see the word I or the sentence, I have to study all weekend. So I ask you, so what? Why? Sorry guys, I shouldn't be using why in, uh, in this uh, conjunction so. It is the result, it is the effect. When you study hard, I tell you, so what? You say, so I can pass my exam. I study, so I can pass. The result or the effect of studying is passing. Next example says what? When I am upset, I listen to music. I tell you, so what? What happens when you listen to music? I say, so I can relax. So the effect of listening to the music or the result of listening to the music is I can relax. So before here, I have, after so, I have to do what? I have to find the result. After so, I find the result. The result of studying weekend on the weekend 
is passing. And the result of listening to music is what? I relax. So the effect of the music is relaxation. I have to find the result after so. I have to know the effect of what I did after so. Let us see a third example. I want to learn English. So what? What will happen when you learn English? You say, so I, I can speak to people around the world. The result, that you can speak to people around the world. So I can speak to people around the, wor around the world. Here, I notice one very important thing, which is this comma. This comma comes before so. So before I write so, I have to split the sentence using the comma, okay? Or what you call it, join it, whatever. So I use a comma before so, okay? What's next? Let us look at the next slide. Here. Now I can look at the next page which has because, because it's very easy, but very confusing as well. We know that whenever someone asks us with why he wants to know their reason, the reason of something, because really you use the word because sometimes I hear it in a very, very faulty place. So please, because comes with a reason. The reason you did something, and it is only the only answer of the question, why? Whenever someone asks you, why, why you do this? Why you drink this? Why you study? Why you play? Say, because I want to pass. Why do you eat? Because I am hungry. So the, the reason is giving can be used with because whenever you give sorry i need to rephrase it whenever you give a reason for something you have to use because and it is the answer of the question why or question word why let us look at this example we use because to show the cause of an action why did it happen why is the cause of this action I have some examples here. I passed my exam. Why? Why did you pass your exam? Because I studied all weekend. See? You don't ask what happened. You ask why. We are listening to music. Why? Why are you listening to music? Because we are upset. I'm sorry, I have an example here. I passed my exam. Why? Here we go. You passed your exam. Why? Because I studied all weekend. Okay. Now, we are listening to music. Why? Because we are upset. I forgot the full stop here. I will fix it before I send it. Needs a full stop. Miss Nana forgot it, okay? So I can speak to people around the world. Why? Why can you speak to people around the world? Because I've learned to speak English. I know how to speak English very good. Okay? So this, the cause of your listening to the music is because you're upset it's this is the cause so the sentence comes after because it is the reason the cause it is the reason or the cause something happened okay i passed my exam you passed something happened that you already passed your exam why did you pass your exam tell me the reason you passed your exam you tell me because i studied hard so the reason or the cause is come sorry after 
because after the connection or conjunction because so now we see that I have two sentences and they are connected using because or so or and or but okay so let us sum it up sorry guys so and because when do we use so and when do we use because how the meaning is different look now I have two sentences I was tired happened first okay then I went to bed it's what happened the result the result of your being tired your being tired happened first then you went to bed so you the result of your being tired is your going to bed so I say I was tired so I went to bed okay I was tired happened first it is the reason for going to bed going to bed is the result okay next slide is going to show us because I went to bed because I was tired look it is the other way around I was tired comes after because the reason comes after because not before the reason comes before so but comes the reason comes after because here we go I was tired I, it's not at the beginning now I'm not going to start with it Miss Nahla do not confuse us I went to bed why why did you go to bed because I was I was tired I went to bed happened after the feeling tired it is the result of feeling tired the cause I care about saying the word cause or reason reason okay cause or reason so here they are saying that they're saying the opposite they're saying the reason comes first here okay okay no problem I cause I call this effect and I call the other one is cause so I was tired so what miss Nahla so what so I went to bed but the next time I went to bed why miss Nahla because I was tired so the result comes after before because okay I'm sorry <laughs> again it's okay now we will do some of these questions together I will give you some time to answer it during this session uh, but here I need you to look at the sentence it's an example here we go steward bought lunch steward bought lunch why why did steward buy lunch I, I would think so he was hungry shall I shall I use the question why or shall I use the question so what I think it's why why did he buy lunch because because he was hungry right okay Mary was sick last week so what what happened when she was sick so I say why she was sick she went and the answer will be she saw a doctor or so what happened you will tell me she saw a doctor so what happened so I will use so Mary was sick so she she saw a doctor the next one this is really confusing Miss Nahla, because there is the past from see saw but uh, this is saw it's the verb <laughs> I was late 
for work this morning. I was late, were late for work this morning. I overslept. Oh, there is a reason. There is a reason, Miss Nahla. They're giving me the reason why he was late. He gave, so for sure I will use because. Now you understand? I will do one more. Sweden is a cold country. People wear warm clothes in winter. It is a result or a reason. It's a result. People wear the warm clothes as a result of the weather because the weather is cold. So I will use so it's a result. So people warm wear warm clothes. Okay. I don't want to I don't want to confuse you more. Let us do the next or the rest in the session. I can have some more explain explanation and some more interaction with you. Okay, dears? Yeah, let's see you.